This time on Norfolk Perspectives, we're going to be talking about developing new relationships with NATO Fest. Delicious dishes from Denmark. I can't wait. We're going to make them and then eat them. Norfolk Home and Garden Tour, and then anchors away with hurrah players. Stay tuned for some great stuff right here on Norfolk Perspectives. Welcome to Norfolk Perspectives. I'm Bob Batch. I've got two very special guests here on the sofa representing NATO Fest. Yeah, what is NATO Fest? We're going to find out. Lisa Chandler, you are the chairman of Norfolk NATO Fest for this year. Welcome. Thank you. I got to say, I've, you've been on the sofa before when you've been co chair and chair. You've been with the festival for a long time. I've been with the festival for over 10 years and, um, and had the pleasure of chairing it um, several times. Yeah. So and I can't always, give it up. Well, and you always get to bring these guys with great accents. Uh, that's so why I year, keep doing it. Really? <laughs> guys with great accents? Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Vice Admiral Tony Johnson Burt, you're, uh, you're with NATO. I am, ACT, right and Bob, I'm thrilled to be here. And you do I have do. an accent. I do, but, but I think it's, I'd say it's a normal accent. Well, <laughs> all I know is in pre-tape, everybody kept telling me, Batcher, don't say a word, just let Tony do all the talking. So here we That's go. You two talk. Well, with, with, I'm thrilled to be here, Bob, and, and uh, of course with, with Lisa, because this is the most wonderful opportunity uh, for NATO to meet and make friends properly with the whole of Norfolk. Uh, and, and it's a, a fantastic experience. You know, it's funny because I think we, we, sometimes we look at you know, spring is here and so, so is NATO Fest and there's mm. going to be a parade and there's going to be this and there's a, the kind of, we kind of take it for granted mm. as we take you all for granted for being here. But it really is a special treat to have you here. It, it is. And, and f just to put it in perspective for you, this is quite different from the UK. Is it really? <laughs> the sun is beautiful. The flowers are fabulous. Uh, it's still quite wintry at home. Uh, now, what do you mean by wintry at home? It, it, it's a bit drizzly, you know, April showers and all that. You mean that's not just... Uh, I thought uh, it was really bad uh, PR. Uh, for, uh, no, no, it's it's true. real? It's true. And you live in a beautiful, beautiful place. And we're thrilled to be here. I, I've been here four months. And I was telling you just before we, we started rolling, I, I feel as though I've been here for three years. But not because, it's a, a, <laughs> because I'm tired. It's because, because I've, we've made the most wonderful friends uh, and, and here. And people couldn't be more generous. So, so just the, this is just the confirmation. This festival is a confirmation of that brotherhood, sisterhood, the friendship, the bringing NATO, 50 countries. We've got 28 <sighs> nations in NATO and 22 partner nations all coming together uh, in under the, the umbrella and aegis of, of, of Norfolk. So wow. it's wonderful. Now, Lisa, I'm going to ask you then, does uh, putting together a festival with 50 countries put world peace in perspective? Well, it does, but actually they make it so easy that it's, uh, there is peace right from the beginning. So, you know, one of the reasons why we do it is we want to um, share the cultures uh, that we have here through NATO with our community. And that's, you're right, a lot of people don't really understand that the command is here. And mm -hmm. we have the benefit of these um, families that are here uh, living in our community. The kids are going to schools, uh, to the schools in our community. And, um, and so we get the benefit of that cu cultural exchange. And NATO Fest is one way for us to enjoy doing that and to honor NATO and thank them for being here. And we have several events that are coming up that we want to tell people about. Well, let's get started. Okay, okay. great. It's going to be the weekend of? Um, April 27th and 28th. And it starts off with a wonderful, I mean, the pageantry of the flag raising is mm -hmm. incredible. It's going to be on Scope Plaza this year at 4.30 on Friday afternoon, April 27th. And the public is, it's free and open to the public. And it's, the, it's a wonderful, wonderful event to go to. And then right after that, people can go to um, Norfolk NATO Night at the um, International Tattoo that is put on by the Virginia Arts Festival. And so they can make a night of it on Friday. Um, uh, going to the flag raising and then the tattoo, and then on Saturday, uh, this we have, is when it yeah, gets cool. the, we have the parade of nations. Almost every country member nation has a has a float. We have bands. We have um, 
uh, uh, student bands that come to compete here and um, some other units that will be in the parade and it will kick off at 10 a.m. And then at 11 in Town Point Park we have NATO Fest which again is free and open to the public. Um, we like to say that you can tour 28 countries without leaving t home and uh, we're going to have international entertainment, we're going to have international food vendors, we're going to have international beers that are going to be in the Veer beer tent Ooh. and um, <laughs> yeah and um, and then you know that will um, end at three o'clock and so there is something really for everybody. There will be activities for children um, and then the food and the uh, entertainment and then there will be some adult uh, libations there to we partake go. in. Uh, and and beer well. being a great local publication that we've got here and they, they really have gotten into the beer thing. Yeah. Well, they have, and yeah. it's, yeah, so, and th for them to partner with us is But terrific. now there's going to be the high school bands that are part of the parade, and that's a competition. It and is. So they're going to be also competing over a, it's adjudicated. Correct. Ooh, it's <laughs> one of those. So, now, I've got to warn, we got to warn you, though. Yes. Wear your sunshade. Your, um, right, yes. Yeah, because. Some block, sunblock. The sunblock. Yes. Um, because there's nothing worse than a. I guess a Brit that gets sunburned? No. I, I, and I get Can you deal with that? Yeah, we, we normally have to wear big hats. but, but uh, We've I've heard got, about I've, your hat. I've got my hat here. That's your hat. So I'll be all right. Now, you, you've got a, your family's over here? Yes, I've got five children. Uh, wow. And, and uh, they, they love it here. They, they, uh, they were all rather sad that we were leaving home for three years, because I'll be here for three years. Okay. Uh, and uh, they all said, oh, you're leaving home. You know, you're leaving us bereft. And then they came out for Christmas, and they said, nope, this is our home now. Thank you very much. We're not <laughs> going. <laughs> <laughs> they switched allegiance just like that. Cool. So they'd love it. Well, we are so glad you're here. Lisa, thank, thank you. you for bringing the festival together. Now, we're going to make a transition. And, and not just talk about, I think, but prepare and maybe eat so I some hear. food from Denmark. Yes. But before we do that, Bob, may I give you one of my coins? I would love it. Please, and thank you for all you do. Thank you. These uh, coins are very special, and I'm honored to me. have Thank one. you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome Good aboard. You. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, sir. When we come back, it's food from Denmark? Cool. I can't wait. Stay tuned. <laughs> Traditional light bulbs actually generate nine times more heat than light. Switch to Energy Star light bulbs, and you'll realize just how much cash you are really burning through. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at energysavers.gov. Welcome back to Norfolk Perspective. Okay, end of April, NATO Fest is coming, but right here, Denmark's coming with the food. How you all doing? Fine, Miss Karen Bellet? Yes, that's Did right. Did I get the right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> and Ellen Ingholm. Yeah, very good. Well, that's because they gave me easy names, I guess. Yes. But uh, Ellen and Karen, right? <laughs> yes. But more importantly, bacon and potato and... Yeah, actually it's called stick flisk or persilla sauce. You got that down, Pat. Yeah. Okay. I chose it because of the name. I like the name. Yeah. Say it again. <laughs> stick flisk or persilla sauce. Okay, which means? Uh, roast pork and parsley sauce. Okay. Yeah. And then you've got the fire hazard over here. Yes. <laughs> what? It's a traditional Danish birthday cake. Okay. And uh, what's in it? That's a sponge cake, three layer of sponge cake and uh, filling and strawberry. My f okay. End of interview. <laughs> I'm done because yes. I'm ready to eat. Okay. Okay. I, I want to talk a little bit about the transition because you've been in the States for how long? Half a year. Half a year and? Almost a year. So you're the pro here, then, huh? Yes, sure. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm, I got to ask you the infamous. Uh, I I know so and so from Denmark. Do you know them? Did you guys know each other? No, we no, don't. No, nope, but. Do you know each other now? Yeah. Yes, we do. Okay. <laughs> so what was that first bonding? That was it. The first time you went to the grocery store, and said, "Oh my gosh, where is?" How did you guys get to know each other here? Uh, we have a we Danish have a, community. Yeah. yeah, we are twelve families over here. In NATO, yeah. Okay. So we have a. So we stick pretty much. So you kind together. of check in yeah. with each other. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Let's go. Let's roll. It's, it's a year and a more or so ago. Mm -hmm. Your husbands get the orders. Yeah. 
So what was your first, come on, be honest. What was your first, oh my gosh, we are going where? Uh, we're going to the States, and that was great. Uh, yes. I've been longing for that for a long time. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what were your perceptions of what you were going to find when you got here? Uh, food-wise, let's stick to food the food-wise. Wise. Uh, pizza. Pizza, <laughs> burgers. Burgers. Yeah, steaks. we saw TV programs showing how unhealthy American students eat at school. Or something. Yeah, is, yeah. There a prob- <laughs> is there a problem with that? <laughs> a little bit, maybe. Okay, yeah. let's talk healthy. Mm-hmm. Obviously, it's healthier in Denmark. I think I think is. so. Yeah. What, why yes. is that? Mm. The kids bring, for example, their own f- uh, food in the school. Okay. And it's not uh, burgers and fries and stuff like that. Mm. No candy are allowed in, in uh, much school. schools. No candy? No, no candy. Uh, no, no sodas. Sodas. And some schools. No chips. Yeah, no chips. Like that. Yeah. Is, that because, is that the base? I mean, because you stick with the basic food groups? Mm. I mean, I think we're kind of brought up that way that... Uh, uh, Denmark is a, an old dairy country, actually. Okay. So, so we brought the, up. Hence the stick of butter. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I got to bring that to your attention real yeah. quick. <laughs> Organic butter. Though. Organic yeah. butter, yeah. Okay, so it's, it's still pretty much coming, you know, shopping from the earth. I mean, it's. How about processed? Yeah, and foods? I think also politically, there's a great conscience about uh, you have to uh, put laws, laws through that. Uh, kind of uh, inspire you to eat healthy yes okay. and for instance they just made a tax in denmark on fat on fat and so, we have a tax on yeah. sugar we had tax on sugar on fat on alcohol on and tobacco, tobacco. Uh, so okay we do high the, tax. yeah we do yeah. the what we call sin taxes which mm. are on tobacco mm. alcohol yeah yeah but we just take it a little, little further mm. yes. i guess okay yeah okay so, so you you made your first venture into the Harris Teeter, the Farm Fresh, the Food Line, whatever. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what what was after you gasp? What were you missing? Mm, rye flour, I think. Um, <laughs> really? Uh, yes. So Betty Crocker multi-purpose flour just doesn't quite <laughs> hack it. <laughs> it's okay, but not for what we use it for. Okay. No. No. Yeah, we use, we eat a lot of rape bread. Okay. Mm. So that's we a sort it. of a Danish kids are brought up that way. You have to eat you know, rye bread. This yeah, is dark right. bread with a lot of kernels and uh, dark. Now, do you flour. put peanut butter and jelly on it? No. <laughs> 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 so this is—is is this? Would you say this would be a traditional meal? This is a very traditional meal. Yes. Yeah. The, the men, the, the men in Denmark love, love that. that kind of food. Yes. Yeah. yeah well, we're just going to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because you know why they love it. Here, we'll move the beer out of the way so you can see it. Yeah. Lots of butter. Lots now, where's of the butter. Okay, where's yeah. the butter then? In the sauce? In the, the sauce. In the sauce. The okay. sauce is uh, butter, flour, and milk, basically, and then parsley and salt and pepper. Mm. Okay, so, now this is a pork. And this here is pork, but with a lot of fat in it. So it's a real ma- it's well, male dish. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it's well worth paying the tax on that fat. Yes, yes. it is. <laughs> <laughs> but then you also have free health care, right? Yeah. For so free, we pay well, a lot you of pay taxes. A lot of taxes yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. we do. Okay. Now, what about this? Does this cake have butter in it then too? Yes, but not much. the The sponge cake is only for sugar and eggs and uh, flour and potato stock. Okay, they're giving and, uh, me the count, so I'm going to have to eat this off camera. <laughs> but trust me, I am going to eat it. Now, yes. what's your favorite American food now? Oh, I think uh, one of the good fish over here. I really like fish. The fish? Yeah, yes. The fish. It probably came from Denmark, you know. Yes, but we don't have... The cold water cod, that kind mm. of stuff? Yeah. Mm. Well, I, th- no. I know particularly one fish didn't yeah. come from Denmark because my husband caught it out here. Yes. The rockfish. The rockfish. Oh, ah. yeah. Several of them, they were huge, so we had rockfish for quite some months. That is yeah. good. It's very good. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. How about the kids? What are they like? Oh, five guys. Five guys, yes. <laughs> <laughs> they know like that, five guys. They know that burger. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what else we know how to do over in America besides eat good food? <laughs> we also know how to garden. And we're yeah. going to have a tremendous tour coming up. And that's our next segment oh, I know. is the garden tour. So stay tuned and find out more about the garden tour also coming up right here on Norfolk Perspectives. Welcome back to Norfolk Perspectives. I got to tell you, if you want really good food, 
Find somebody who's from Denmark. Great stuff. Trust me on that one. Okay, we got some flowers coming up and tours and the Hermitage. And a magazine, all at the end of April, right? Megan Frost, Membership and Development Manager for the Hermitage Museum and Gardens. How you doing? Great. We're going to focus on the garden part, not the museum today, right? Well, it is the 75th anniversary of the Hermitage as a museum. We officially opened to the public in 1937, so that's one of the um, wow. great things about being on the cover of the statewide guarded book this year. And what's really cool, if you don't know where the Hermitage is, come to the tour with Beth Williams, who's co-chair of the tour, and the tour will get you there. It's in the Lock Haven neighborhood. So we have six houses on tour this year, as well as um, a lot of events will be going on at the Hermitage throughout the day. Okay, Beth, I'm going to put you on the spot. Mm -hmm. um, you have people say, hey, I want to be on the tour, right? Yes. Did you have to say no to some of them? Not this year. No, we um, were Not very lucky. Not this year. I like that. <laughs> we were very lucky that um, we were lucky at these six beautiful homes. They're gonna, their gardens are going to be open and the first floor as well. And uh, two garden tours are involved with putting, the garden clubs are putting it on and they're arranging flowers inside. And um, we're hoping for a great day. Okay, now you were the consummate expert then in what not a anything. proper garden should look like, right? <laughs> not me, but it, there will be... Not, <laughs> not you? We will have master gardeners around that day that can tell you anything you want to know about the garden. Oh, so, so all those issues that I've had, that my wife has had with mm -hmm. me about what I want to do with a garden, I can't take up with you right now? Not me, but they will be able to answer your question. Because <laughs> that is one of the reasons why people go on these tours, right? It's a wonderful way to get new ideas. Uh, one house has just gone into renovation, and they've redone their garden outside and their home. They've made it um, what we call a greenhouse. It's geothermal, and they're trying to um, take this 100-year-old home and do new things with it. So. Are they done with the renovation? They're close. They're close? <laughs> It's always a process when you're renovating. And so we won't tell you, we won't tell the viewer which one that is. They'll have to figure it out when they're on the tour, huh? Oh, they'll know. They'll know. So, it's, it's let we'll me ask about. you because I, well, I had somebody on from the garden, from the botanical garden, and they were talking about arrangements, and she made this comment about taking the flowers from your garden mm -hmm. and making arrangements out of it. But if you've taken the flowers out of your garden, what replaces them? Mm -hmm. That's right. A lot of people have cutting gardens just for that purpose. So you might have um, one part of your garden that you like to sit in outside and look at the flowers, and then another part that's not that close to it where you just go and clip and you bring those flowers inside. Okay, well, then now you just you bet me another question. Where <laughs> should you be able to view a garden from? Yeah, that's a tough one. Some people want to be outside in it, and other people might want to show it off to their neighbors. Okay, functional garden versus pretty mm -hmm. garden? Mm -hmm. But doing Taking that into consideration? Mm -hmm. As the cutting garden is, so a lot of people are doing the vegetable gardening now. Okay. The Sloans were very much into the arts. Yes. Did they carry that art into the, into the grounds then? Most definitely. Mm -hmm. um, we have wonderful sketches that Mrs. Sloan uh, took when she was traveling around Europe, getting ideas for the home. Also, when she was traveling and looking at the gardens, she'd bring back plans and then um, translate them into the Hermitage property. Okay, now when they were, when the Sloans were the original owners of the Hermitage, mm -hmm. when they lived there, they had bigger land, right? Uh, they had, it started off about 40 acres and they started partitioning it off and we've lost, we were at 14, we've lost two due to erosion. Mm -hmm. So that's why we started this um, huge wetlands restoration campaign to um, put in the new wetlands plants on both sides of the property now. And we'll have several members of the wetlands community during um, garden week speaking and so anyone that lives on the water can come and ask questions what they can do to their own yards um, they'll be there to answer questions and you, walk you through the different phases of the restoration projects at the museum because the days of building a bulkhead are gone right in some ways you can do living shorelines that incorporate a bulkhead or the grasses or different plants that like the brackish water here. The Chesapeake Bay Foundation has all these great new things with the oyster reef balls and that house the oyster spat and they grow. And we have, um, I think we have almost 100 of those at the museum wow. now, or there's plans to put in that many. And at low tide, you can see them off the property. Okay, I, uh, Beth, I, need, I gotta be, the world revolves around Norfolk on this show, but this is really all part of a statewide program, right? Right, there are 36, 35 or 36 tours going on the same week. 
Um, and the day of our tour, of course, we want to concentrate on Norfolk yeah. and bring it. And that day is going to be. It is Thursday, April 26. But we are the only tour. You got to hold this oh, up. Yes, this we is are what the we're only tour we're, that's on the cover. Of we the are state on magazine. the cover of the state guidebook. The first time Norfolk has been on the cover in 79 years. And this is the Hermitage Museum. So we're really hoping it will bring a lot of people from out of town to see Norfolk. Mm -hmm. And that's one reason we're partnering with the Hermitage. And we're also partnering with Virginia Arts Festival for a concert that night at the Hermitage. So it's an all day affair. It's stay the day. We hope you can come as early as nine and there's bird watching. Stay, see the homes. There's um, a lunch available. There's a dinner available. Everything is on our website um, to break it all down. We have pottery demonstrations. Uh, flower demonstrations. Wow. The new attention. leaf is coming to do flower demonstrations. You got my grounds. attention. The website? Uh, NorfolkGardenTour.org. Okay, or you can go to the museum's it's, website? Yeah, it's on the Hermitage Museum as well. The HermitageMuseum.org. And did you say there's going to be food there too? We will have refreshments as part of your ticket hey. at the Hermitage from 2 to 4. Got my <laughs> attention. Thank you. I'm looking forward to enjoying the event along with everybody else. And uh, go to those websites and get tickets quick. When we come back, it's a uh, Hurrah players, and gosh only knows what they're going to do. So stay tuned and find out what's in store for you with the Hurrah players. Welcome back to Norfolk Perspective. Hey, have I told you how great Denmark food is? It's awesome. <laughs> and the hurrah players are right here. How's it and going, Hugh? we know Hugh? about the Denmark food. Oh, it's yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Cake at the yeah, end of the yeah, show. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, how are you doing, Hugh? I'm doing wonderful because we love spring, we love the spring shows, and we love entertaining for everybody in the area. And you got a great new show coming up. You better believe it. And it's, it's some called? great new talent. It's called <laughs> Anchors Away. A-W-A-Y, not to be confused with Anchors Away, W-E-I-G-H, because we're not just saluting the Navy, we're saluting all the military areas, plus we're saluting songs to deal with anything nautical, uh, anything from South Pacific, uh, even rolling down the river of Tina, Tur Tina Turner. I wasn't going to mention it. <laughs> but it came up. I know. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, even the guests from foreign countries, when they saw the know, lineup, they said, think, you know they misspelled yes, that? Yes, and we have to make sure people realize we a lot of reasons, but primarily we weren't allowed to. <laughs> okay. Yeah, right. And that's never gotten in the way. <laughs> yeah, right. no, for right. players, yeah. you've had an awesome season. Yes. You're getting ready for a new season. Some would say, take the summer off. Oh, no. Anchors away. We're doing it at our beautiful Perry Family Theater, May 19th, 20th, and 21st. You're going to want to come see us in our theater. And then at Opsale, they've asked us to perform the show for Opsale down at the waterfront down there on June 9, 10, and 11. So you're going to see a lot of Anchors away. Then in July, we're doing Footloose, and then Disney has given us a new script based on the movie Winnie the Pooh. That's the end of August. And is that P O O H? Yes. <laughs> oh, just checking. Disney gave us permission. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I've got, we got to introduce uh, James Cooper. Yes. Hey. How's it going? It's going well. Okay, I know something that the audience doesn't know, and we're going to let them find out at the end of the show when you sing. Yeah, awesome. he's an amazing voice. Yes. Where do you go to school? I go to school at Norfolk Collegiate. All right, what year are you in? I'm in the eighth grade. Holy moly! With a voice like that. So you're going to be able to be able to performing on that brand new stage at the Art Center. Yes. Then, huh? All right. And then we have Caroline Murphy Turco. Turco. It's a weird name. Yeah, okay. Turco. And where did you go to school? Uh, I went to DePaul University. <laughs> you went to DePaul University? Yes, I'm 24. I was going to say, has anybody ever told you you look like a high school student? A little bit. In fact, I get carded for R-rated <laughs> movies frequently. Yeah. You wouldn't go to an R-rated movie? No, never. <laughs> never. Okay, your mother no. might be watching. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, and I'm again, I'm, the audience doesn't know this yet, but you have an unbelievable voice. Thank you. Have you You're going to see a lot of her in the Anchors Away back to She has solos and group numbers, and she's the musical director. All right, does that mean you tell him what yes. to do? Every once in a while, right. I get yeah, to make does. a decision. <laughs> yes. But normally it's, you know, Hugh, would it be okay if maybe, <laughs> do you think possibly we could? Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. But you know, his memory's going, so you might have to. Oh, yeah, I right. could just trick him. 
<laughs> yeah, that's, that's good. You know, he has that notebook. No, he's great. He's been great. And we always get along on our decisions. You better believe it. I respect ideas. her talent. And she's an amazing person. Well, you know what's really cool? Is I'm starting to get that notice that stage right, stage left. They want us to leave. Because we're going to sing. So oh. we're going to Come see singing. Anchors Away, May 19th, 20th, and 21st at the Roper, at no, it's not the Roper, at the Hurrah Players Prairie Family Theater. And do you have a website? We sure do. Hurrah do you know, Players. Do you know the address? Yes, and it's, we have new webmasters now, so it's fabulous. And it's the address is because I talk about hurrahplayers.com. Okay. And yeah. So if he's got the dates wrong, you can find it online. You can find it online. <laughs> dates are there. May We're going to go left and right. I think that's what it's called because we want you to hear some great singing. And thanks for joining us. We want to hear from you what you'd like to see on TV 40. But more importantly, what's going on in your neighborhood that you want to celebrate besides these guys? Give us a holler at 664 6510. And as usual, it's a wonderful time to be in Norfolk just because of you and you and you and you too. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Look out there in the eastern sky Is that a hint of light? Oh, come and look, I need to know If I am seeing right We've lived so long in darkness I'm almost frightened to believe those clearing skies on that glistening horizon. Please tell me my eyes do not deceive me. Ain't it sweet to smell the morning in a world washed fresh and Days on a sea of endless grace. Now we sing a song of praise. Amen. Ain't it good? Oh, ain't it good now? Honey, ain't it good to see the sun again? When my ears were filled with thunder. Plans. Haven't seen one since I can't, can't remember when Ain't it good when stars are clearing oh, Our hearts began to dance Our hopes are reappearing Since we've been granted a second chance Open wide this floating crash Every day 